All right, I'm going to show you how to use Flipgrid to record a screencast. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that in another tab you have your project. And let's say that it's a Google Drawing. Here's a sample Google Drawing. I want to make sure that my drawing takes up as much of the screen as possible. So it's easy to be able to be read by your audience. So I'm going to zoom in. And that obviously is too far to zoom in. So I want to go to maybe 100%, whatever might be a good view. I'm going to click on this little um, arrow here in Google Drawings to hide the menu. And that gives me a little more space. So right now, this is fitting as much of the screen as possible. If I'm in Google Slides, let's say I have a slideshow that I want to present. Um, if I go to present mode right now, it's not going to work. I can't go to my other tab. So I'm just going to have it on the slide that I'm going to start with so that I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to go into Flipgrid. And here in Flipgrid, I'm not going to click record with the video button. To the left of the record are the three dots for video options. I'm going to click on that and choose screen recording beta. And then I'm going to start my screen recording and it's going to ask me which windows I want to use. My entire screen, you don't want to do that because that shows your entire, whatever's on your screen at a time. The best thing to do is go to Chrome tab. And when you're on Chrome tab, you can look at your, all your tabs that you have open. And so you can choose your project. So let's say that it's my Google drawing. I can click on that and press share. And now it's actually recording. So you can explain the different parts of your drawing. Maybe you zoom in to particular parts when you're talking about it. And you can move things around and talk about it. But that might be a little bit harder. Um, so maybe just keep it on fit for your screen. But when you're done explaining everything that's in your project, you're going to click stop actually recording. So you can explain the different parts. Of and when I stopped, you heard that it automatically started talking. That was me talking from my recording. I am going to go back. Um, I just went back over to Flipgrid and paused it. And that's what you see here. Um, so you can watch to see if everything looks good. If you want to add more, I'm going to show you how to add more. I'm going to then click on the three dots and do screen recording, but this time I'm going to choose my Google Slides. So I'm going to do Chrome tab, and I'm going to choose the tab that is the Google Slides, and press share, and it's recording. I'm just going to press present real quick, and then I'm going to explain and talk about my slides. I can go through them slide by slide and present. And when I'm done presenting, again, I'm going to press stop, when I press stop, I'm going to go over to Flipgrid. Recording. So you can explain. And it's um, automatically going to play again. But I can you can see as I go present, forward. Press, press, present real. As I move forward, you can see it's added on. Um, then when everything's ready and done, I'm going to say next. You're going to take your selfie. I'm going to add in stickers and take a picture and say next and once I add in my picture and it preps my video it's going to give me the option to um, change my display name give it a title or give it a link the link for this assignment is not optional what you're going to do is you're going to get your project let's say it's your Google um, slideshow I want to get out of slide view. I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go down here at the bottom where it says um, get link and I'm going to copy the link. But first I want to actually, another thing I want to do is change the link. So right now it's just Sequoia Union High School District. I want it to be anyone with the link is a viewer. I'm going to say done and I already copied the link so I'm good. I'm going to go back over to my Flipgrid and I'm going to paste that link. Okay, and now that I've pasted that link, I'm going to submit my video. Okay, now it is ready to go, and you um, will have it. It will be turned in in Canvas, and you need to make sure that you 
watch and review your classmates and respond to other um, projects.